The recipe for hot water cornbread is simple. Cornmeal, hot water. Mix till sluggish, then dollop in a sizzling skillet. When you smell the burning begin, flip it. When you smell the burning begin again, dump it onto a plate. You've got to wait for the burning and get it just right. Before the bread cools down, smear it with sweet salted butter and smash it with your fingers. Crumble it up in a bowl of collard greens or buttermilk. Forget that I'm telling you it's the first thing I ever cooked that my daddy was laughing and breathing and no bullet in his head when he taught me. Mix it till it looks like quicksand, he'd say, till it moves like a slow song sound. We'd sit there in the kitchen in the half dark, licking our fingers and laughing at my mother who was probably scrubbing something with bleach or watching Bonanza or thinking how stupid it was to be burning that nasty old bread in that cast iron skillet. She always used whole milk and eggs and baked her cornbread until it was plump and sugary. And she'd branded me hopeless as a homemaker, too damn interested in sitting in the kitchen in the half dark, learning nothing at all from a man who had other women and stayed out late on Saturday nights. When I told her that I fixed my first ever pan of hot water cornbread and that my daddy had branded it glorious, she sniffed and kept mopping the floor over and over in the same space. So here's how you do it. You take out a bowl, like the one we had with blue flowers and only one crack. You put the cornmeal in it. Then you turn on the hot water and you let it run while you tell the secret about the boy who kissed your cheek after school or about how you really want to be a reporter instead of a teacher or a nurse like mama said and the water keeps running while daddy says you will be a wonderful writer and you will be famous someday and when you get famous if I wrote you a letter and sent you some money would you write about me? <laughs> and he is laughing and breathing and no bullet in his head. So you let the water run into this mix until it moves like mud moves at the bottom of a river, which is another thing Daddy said. And even though I'd never even seen a river, I knew exactly what he meant. Then you turn the fire way up under the skillet, and you pour in this mix that moves like mud moves at the bottom of a river, like quicksand, like a slow song sounds. That stuff pops something awful when it first hits that blazing skillet. And sometimes Daddy and I would dance to those angry pop sounds. He'd let me rest my feet on top of his while we waltzed around the kitchen and my mother huffed and puffed on the other side of the door. When you are famous, Daddy asked me, will you write about dancing in the kitchen with your father? I say everything I write will be about you. Then you will be famous too. Then we dip and swirl and spin, but then he stops and sniffs the air. The thing you have to remember about hot water cornbread is to wait for the burning so you know when to flip it. And then again, you have to know when it's crusty and done. Then eat it the way we did, with our fingers, our feet still tingling from dancing. But remember that sometimes the burning takes such a long time. And in that time, sometimes, poems are born.